Hey everybody, Tin Man here. Welcome to my easy cooking channel. Today I'm going to try to cook a pot roast in my toaster oven. So I have this, it's about a two and a half pound chuck roast, and some little red potatoes, some carrots, a can of mushroom soup, and I'm going to try to put them all in this baking dish. It's the biggest dish that'll fit in my oven, so might be kind of a tight squeeze, but hopefully I can make it all work. So what I'm doing here is I took the can of mushroom soup and put it in there, and then I uh, filled the can up with water and put a can of water in there. Um, I put the whole bag of baby carrots in there. Now I'm just taking these little red potatoes and cutting them in half and just putting them in there like that. Then the pot roast will go on top. Okay, now I'm just going to season this chuck uh, roast with some seasoning salt. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll put that side down. It's going to be kind of a tight squeeze here, but I don't think it'll work okay. Now we'll just put a little more of this on top. Okay, so what I've done here is I've covered the meat in foil, and I also stuck a meat thermometer through the foil and into the center of the meat. It'll kind of give me a guideline of to when it's done, because I haven't actually cooked a pot roast in here before, so I'm not quite sure how long it'll take. It looks like this is right up against the heating element too, so I'm not quite sure how well this will work, but we'll find out. I'll just slide that on in there, and I also put the tray underneath, that way if it drips or overflows, it'll catch the juice. So we'll come back in a few hours. Okay, it's been about three hours and 45 minutes, and this pot roast smells awesome, so I'm figuring it's probably done. That thermometer has been pegged. I don't know what the highest temperature on that is, 210, 220. And it's cooked at that temperature for about the last 45 minutes. Um, the temperature on my oven, I turned it up to 450 for the first half hour, and then Turn it down to 325 and it's been cooking at 325 ever since. So uh, I think this should be good with pot roast. They can be pretty tough if you don't, if you undercook them. So I just uh, didn't want to take any chances. And if anything, I'd rather overcook it a little bit. So I'm going to shut that off and pull it out. Well, I pulled that out and I can see that some of the juice did boil over into the tray there. So I'm glad I put that in there. Um, now let's go see how it turned out. Okay, this smells really, really good. I've let it sit here for about 15 or 20 minutes after I pulled it out of the oven. I'm just pulling the foil off. I haven't looked at it at all. It looks pretty good. Let's see. Ooh, <laughs> I'm good at making a mess. Seems like the carrots are tender. I think this meat is pretty tender. It's just gonna take a minute to kind of let a little juice soak into it. Potato seems tender. Fork stabs into it. Like I said, that cooked for about three hours and 45 minutes. I think that looks pretty good. I'm making a big mess and look how much the juice filled up. There wasn't that much, but that was just the uh, juices cooking out of the roast. All right, let me put that on a plate and take a taste of it. Okay, I think this turned out really good. As the meat sits, it seems to get more tender. The potatoes are tender. Carrots are tender. Let's grab a bite of that. Look at that, huh? Easy way to cook a pot roast. Turned out really good. Thank you for watching, you guys, and I appreciate everybody that watches and all the new subscribers. I'll talk to you guys next time.